In my previous video, I have shown you how to set proofing language in OneNote and I got a very good question from one of my viewers saying that the display language is in German but he wants the proofing language be in English and he set it the way I shown in here and it still doesn't identify it. Basically, it marks it all red even though it's written in English and it's still thinking that it's written in Germany. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this, but I'm going to do it the other way around. So, I'm going to set my proofing language to Germany and try to make it work. And initially, when I do that, I would have the same problem as this person has got in here, which is even though I set it to Germany, it still doesn't show any spelling mistakes or whatsoever even though I type in English and not in Germany. So let's go to OneNote and then if you go to your review tab in here and if you go to language in here you need to then click on language preferences and I have added a language by clicking add a language let's say Italian from Italy then I click on add and that would add it but one very important thing when you do that that you shouldn't miss is this which is very weird that you need to check this that gives you the get proofing tools take me to the language installation page okay I'm very surprised that by default this is not checked but you need to check it it's hidden somewhere here then you click on add and then it takes you to this website then you can actually download the language pack then you click on save, double click to open it, click yes to install it. Well, my Italian is horrible, uh, I, I mean it's next to zero, so I just guess continua is similar to continue. Well, the download is finished after quite a long time, then I guess you need to click on this and let's open OneNote again. And now let's go to the review tab, let's go to the language. Let's go to language preferences and you see automatically it also installed the German and it is also set as preferred. So it didn't just install the Italian language, it also installed the German. So whatever language you added in here, by going to the download, it was able to install both. So make sure your preferred language is selected in here and it is installed not just saying it's available but actually it is installed and on the display you can see now you can choose Italian as well but we can leave it as English let's click on OK and in here now let's set proofing language and let's go to German again bear in mind there are different versions of German but we want German from Germany as soon as I do that you can see the red lines appearing that means everything I type is wrong okay now I have set the English I have set the German I have set the Italian it still shows German as red so let's select this text let's go to set language set proofing language and you can see this line is set to United States that's why it becomes wrong so let's change that to German and let's close this and it's all now black except this line I don't know probably the Google Translate didn't do a good job and Microsoft Office still thinks this is the wrong spelling but nevertheless you can see now we got rid of all red lines and let's try to get rid of red lines on the Italian so I select the text I go to set proofing language and I choose now Italian and then I close this and here it is there is no spelling mistake in Italian so let's make a new page let's set a proofing language to German close this go back here let's copy this and let's go here let's paste it and here it is correct it still shows it as German it didn't convert it into English because most of it is now black hopefully this has solved the question that my viewer have asked and many other people if it did please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel 
and I hope to see you in my next video.